We formed this organization almost 30 years ago to improve health and healthcare worldwide. What we realized is that in healthcare, we haven't adequately built the resources to improve quality, to innovate, and to keep up with the healthcare demands and needs of people. And we found that bringing people together is a true accelerator for change. So IHI's mission to improve health and healthcare worldwide is a huge one. We realized that we can't do it alone, so we had to bring people together. So we created the IHI European Leadership Alliance, and we invited the most innovative people from around Europe to come together and to share their experiences. We're harvesting ideas here by visiting each other's places, by sharing challenges and solutions. And what we're seeing is that bringing all of these organizations together is producing profound change. So we've developed annual themes, and this year we're working on population health. We realized, as an example, that most healthcare organizations are focused on taking care of sick people. Why are we not preventing illness? So we're moving upstream to think about how do we understand how to keep people healthy as well as to take care of them when they're sick. We're also focused here on leadership. It's a very big challenge. We've never faced the pace of change in healthcare as we are today. It's 200% faster than we've ever seen it. And it requires leaders to be very agile and to create new ways to think and to lead. And our third one is we're working on, on waste and cost. What we're finding is that healthcare organizations have grown over the years, but we haven't always put the money to the best use. We really do believe that there is unnecessary care being provided. Too many medications, as an example. And we want to work with the public, we want to work with clinicians and leaders to try and take the waste out of the healthcare system so that we can reinvest it in the health system. So I've had the great joy of spending some time here uh, at the hospital and to um, learn about the incredible progress of L'Hospitali over, over the last several years. We think that the method of improvement put into service for better population health could be a magic combination. So there was the birth of new language, population health improvement as a field. So it's new language, a new field. And secondly, the creation or the co-creation of a playbook to reduce waste. A playbook means that it's implementable very quickly. So you can basically take the idea that's written somewhere and test it in your own environment very quickly. And it's very simple in principle. So Lance Vitali, in my eyes, and I travel a lot, uh, is, a, is a leading organization when it comes to continuous improvement and, uh, and safety. A uh, couple of things to highlight. One is the commitment of senior leadership. Oftentimes we, we hear senior leaders saying that quality and safety matter to them. And there's a distinction between passive support, which is just saying it, and active participation, which is holding weekly meetings to understand how improvement projects are, being able to speak to statistical process control diagrams, uh, being able to uh, sit in a value street mapping conversation and be very fluent with it. And we saw evidence of that here. And, and that's, that's really impressive, actually, uh, because that builds a foundation. Of course, it's not all from the top down. Well, I went to the um, early intervention psychosis services and we met with a psychiatrist and a, and a, a psychiatric nurse and the, the passion with, with, the, with, with which they spoke, the vision that they had for the service, the approach they had uh, with uh, integration, partnering with the community, uh, devolving power to patients who really own that service was really impressive and it's, it's not the norm, it's, it's pretty exceptional. So uh, you should be proud of the things that are happening here and of the hunger that Lance Vitali has had to invite all these European organizations and to be very open to saying some things work great, some things we need to improve, but more importantly we're always willing to learn. The lessons that I've learned here at this hospital will spread not only to the Alliance but I think broadly to other countries because the pace of improvement here and the level of innovation is very, very powerful. We've been on an improvement journey since 2011 and we've been collaborating with the Institute for Healthcare Improvement for the last four or five years in a systematic manner. Uh, we were part of the group of healthcare systems that uh, started up the HIAE network you know, the, the Northern European Collaborative Network, where institutions and organizations 
at a similar place on their improvement journey are trying to learn from each other. We've benefited greatly from participating in this network. Um, on this occasion, on this very uh, fruitful um, meeting here in Iceland, we've, uh, I think mainly, we take away three key messages. The first one is the importance of focusing on the reduction of waste. So that's really a, a way of uh, cutting costs. You don't cut costs by counting pennies, you do it by focusing on quality and safety and reducing waste. And methods to do that, we've gone through them and learned from other organisations uh, here today and yesterday. Um, another take-home message is the importance of uh, collaborating, to, of creating an integrated network within health systems where you collaborate not only with other agencies within welfare, but also with uh, local governments, etc., all to improve the health of the population and in a preventive way, hopefully. Now, the third take-home message is really the importance of uh, big data and modern technology and how that will increasingly allow us to predict health problems before they become diseases, so we can be, again, preventive. It's been a great pleasure and an honour to have this great network and all these great people from these organisations that we can learn so much from here in Iceland. We are quite humbled to, to, to actually, from all the positive feedback we've had for, for the organisation and feedback we've had from uh, people who went on site visits within our system. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next network meeting in London in September. <laughs>